So in the previous video, we would have been looking at converting percentage to decimal, and the idea there was to divide by 100, so you end up moving the decimal spot two spots to the left. What we're going to look at now is the other way around, converting a decimal to a percentage, and again, in your head. And here, it's kind of exactly the opposite thing. You'll times by 100. And that's the same as moving the decimal place two spots to the right. So, starting with the decimal, when I times number by 100, that effectively means I can move the decimal two spots to the right. One, two. So it goes to the end. You can draw it in there if you want, but really, if it's a decimal with no numbers after it, we never write it there, so it kind of gets ignored. 0 0.04 becomes 4%. Here, moving the 0 0.29, two spots over, becomes 29%. Here I'm going to move 8 point, sorry, 0 0.855. I'll move the decimal two spots over, 85. In this case, I'll keep the decimal because there's one more number after it, 85.5%. You could also write that as 85.5% if you preferred. Both ways would be correct. Here I've got 1.25. Because this number is already bigger than 1, I kind of know it should be a really large percentage. And if I move it over two spots, I get 125%. Looking at this one, 0 0.065. You can move it two spots to the right. 0 0.065 becomes 6.5%. I leave the decimal in there because there is a number afterwards to write in. And this one, again, can be written as 6.5% if you prefer. 0 0.47, moving it two spots to the right, we get 47%. So, go fly through a bunch of the practice problems on that worksheet. You guys should be able to do these and aim to do them really quickly in your head and just get used to where you move the decimals and how the different problems end up looking. So, give a go and let me know if you have questions.